What's up, you guys? Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful. Uh, some very unfortunate news today as we have learned that Virgil, uh, real name Mike Jones, passed away. Uh, Virgil had battled dementia for the last couple of years, hadn't had as many appearances and the like. And uh, we want to send our condolences to his friends, his family, uh, his fans, uh, anybody that, you know, feeling a little down about Virgil today, and understandably so. Um, I, a few years ago, I released... <laughs> as a Fightful Select 5,000 subscriber goal, the worst interview I ever did. <laughs> it was with Virgil. And I was actually very excited to interview Virgil, as you'll see by the intro that I did there. But uh, I wanted to share this with everybody because I actually did speak to Virgil since then. Uh, he, did, he found it very funny, <laughs> the way that it was promoted and all that. Um, I got a random message from him on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> that said, let's crank, and I don't know what that means uh, a couple years ago. But despite this being one of the worst interviews that you'll ever see, you can tell how much fun that I was having by the time the interview ended. And uh, I just wanted to share this with you guys because it is painfully awkward and cringy. But um, just wanted to show Virgil a little bit of love as well. Uh, I have very fond memories growing up. Watching Virgil, him turning on Ted DiBiase, uh, the win at SummerSlam, and the like. So uh, let's share this memory, and I hope you guys enjoy this horrible interview, complete with intro, thanking our, at that point, 5,000 subscribers. All right, guys, shit, here we go. 5,000 Fightful Select subscriptions. Thank you guys so much. I can't even begin to tell you how much that means to me. A paywall was was something I didn't ever want to do, and I thought nobody would ever support it. So the fact that you all do means the world to me. But I promised you guys that at 5,000 Fightful Select subscriptions, I would release the worst interview I've ever done. And I've, I've done a few that I would consider really bad, but I've only not released three interviews ever. And uh, one was a language barrier issue. The other one was an interview I did with somebody to see if they would take responsibility for some stuff that they had done. They didn't, and I said, I ain't giving you the platform. And the third was Virgil. Now, let me preface this by saying, I was a Virgil fan when I was a kid. And I was a Virgil fan when I was a kid because I loathed Ted DiBiase. I loved to hate Ted DiBiase. I had his figure. I had his wrestling buddy. I wanted the million dollar belt. I was jealous of him, man. I wanted to be rich and I hated the way that he treated Virgil. I just loathed it. So when Virgil turned on Ted DiBiase, I was so excited. And I got offered an interview last year with Virgil to promote his Meat Sauce Madness mobile game. Now, I don't think it's a secret now. Virgil works with a media team. They're the same team that work with the Iron Sheik. Very entertaining people, obviously. They get you talking about Virgil. They get you talking about Sheik. I accepted this interview, and I was told straight up, like, hey, by the way, do you know that Virgil's never drank or done drugs or anything? If you watch this interview, you wouldn't think so. But that's just the nature of the Virgil character, right? I think he's wild. He's off the wall. What's that guy doing? What's that guy on? But as I was doing this interview, I noticed this weird delay in his responses and my questions and it got real friggin awkward man it was so fucking awkward and then it hit me he's being fed stuff in his ear and i'm still to this day 95 percent confident that virgil was being fed stuff in his ear you're gonna see how painfully terrible this interview was and i was excited for it because i wanted to get like some good answers, some fun answers, a little bit of everything out of Virgil. Holy shit, this was bad. Thanks for the subscriptions. <clears throat> What's up, you guys? Sean Ross app, Fightful.com. Here with a name you know. It's Virgil, the star of Meat Sauce Madness. Virgil, yeah. how on earth did this happen? Yeah. Uh had quite a couple other names too, Soul Train Jones. Uh, 
Yeah. So uh, yeah, you had a few Vincent. Uh, the bones are still it's kicking like old dogs. <laughs> how how did Meat Sauce Madness come about? I love it, brother. When when I get my Olive Garden, I get a whole big thing, a picture of meat sauce to go over the spaghetti, and some and some some nice big old Olive Garden, and they got them some pretty little cute girls to. <laughs> Feed it to me. So I mean, you're you're immortalized in a game now, a mobile game. Did you ever think that was gonna happen? Uh, but I never knew it was gonna happen. But now, since it happened, I'm the greatest game of all times. So you think that you're gonna be up there with like Mario, Sonic the Hedgehog? You're gonna surpass all them, or me? No, you? no, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a surpass them. Okay, so you're thinking sequels, you're thinking franchise, you're thinking way more for Meat Sauce Madness than just one game. I got a movie, book, cartoon. Damn. Uh, so, and I got a big-ass meat grinder right here. <laughs> would, would you play yourself in a Meat Sauce Madness movie, or who would play you? Maybe if I couldn't play it, Probably would be uh, Ryan Reynolds, another great actor. So what? What makes you decide? What made you land on Big Ryan Reynolds? Reynolds? What What makes you land on Ryan Reynolds as an actor who would play you? Yeah, McLove is out op- uh, an option. <laughs> Lovin's an option. Oh my God! So, Meat Sauce mm-hmm. Madness, the game. You guys can check it out very soon. Let's let's take a stroll down memory lane. You were one yeah. of the very few people to hold the million dollar championship, and that's back now. What do you think of the million dollar championship being back? One other guy I planned was Andre the Giant. I planned him. Now what? No, oh, I slammed Andre. Oh, you slammed Andre. What's that got to do with the million dollar championship? Well, that's why. Uh, what? That's why. That's why I couldn't. Uh, I didn't make a million bucks that first time. I figured I had to slam his ass. So I mean, you you think that that got you heat with the office? That that played some politics, and they did. Yeah, that 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 brought all the the gravy out. That brought all the gravy out. So so do you th- did you slam? Andre before Hogan, or was it just you shooting on Andre and just deciding to, to slam him? The same day. Same day. So what did you do? Yeah. Did you go in there before Hogan did it just to do it before he did? Yeah. Do you all get along these days? Do you and How Hogan? to do it. I showed him how to do it. Okay. So how... Someone how, had to show him, right? Yeah. Somebody had to. Uh, so... Do you get along with Hulk Hogan these days? What's that like? How's that relationship? Yes. Still did. Yeah. Still. Was he instrumental in you getting into WCW? How did that all go down? Huh? What did you say? Was he instrumental in getting you into WCW? How did how did you land there? How did that all go down? His daughter's got to pay. His daughter's got to pay. For, you mean... Yeah. For the photo. Everyone got to pay. How much did she pay for the picture? And you got to you got to pay for this ride. My God, my God. So you can always check out. You can check. You can check out anytime, but you can never leave. Jesus Christ. Uh. Boy, I don't know where to go with that. Um. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you go to you go to a hotel. I wish I was home. We call we call a hotel. Yeah, hotel buffet. So, uh, <laughs> where do I go from that? You you were part of the NWO. Where uh, you wanna go? Yeah. Uh, any any fond memories of being in the NWO? Uh, we had all the Nitro girls. I'll pass it up. Like 
me and Hulk and El Dandy. Let's see. I, I want to ask you something nobody else has ever asked you. Let, let me let me look up and down your profile. You faced Doink about. 12 I kicked Alex right right, right in his balls, didn't I? <laughs> you faced Doink about fifteen times in a row in two thousand six. Do you have any memories of Doink? No, think. Dink is someone's biological father, and I'm going to find him. Dink is or Doink is? It definitely ain't mine. It definitely ain't mine. Uh, who gave you the Curly Bill name in WCW? Uh, the Curly Bill. Jay Fonda. Yeah, she crushed on me. Jane Fonda gave you that name. Curly Bill's name. So, uh, what can, workout. I know, I know who Jane Fonda is. Do you still? Yeah. Keep, do you still keep in touch with Jane Fonda? Yeah, she thought she thought she thought I was still the king, the meat sauce king. Yeah, well, I mean, you are. You've got a video game coming out now. She, I guess, she likes to slide into my GM. You mean your DMs? Yeah. Unless you mean your your General Motors vehicle. Yeah. So, so she likes to slide in your GM? Oh my gosh. Yeah. So uh GM. God's me. Oh god. <sighs> um so wow, I I'm so lost on where to even where to even go. I know the You're cool guy, Sean. You're a cool guy. Thank you. I appreciate that. I saw an interview you did recently where you called Scott Hall a little bit of a donkey butt. Can you expand on that a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, he tried to make fun of me, but I'm still standing, ain't I? Yeah, that's true. And you're not a donkey butt, so, I mean, that helps. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I'm assuming you all don't keep in touch? No. Interesting. Do you? Yeah. Scott Hall got a character, man. Interesting. Um, Ted DiBiase, do you keep in touch with him yeah. at all? He, he. Ted DiBiase? Yeah. Do you keep in touch with him at all? Yeah. He, he, he loves, he, he loves to have me. You know I mean? Because I keep, I keep everything rolling right. Interesting. A few years ago. You wrestled uh -huh. as Starman. You beat Ethan Page in about three seconds. Uh, yeah. Will you ever portray the Starman gimmick again? Uh, no. No, he's not. No. Why no. I'm going to say that. So you also wrestled, I think it was Joey Janela. You did a Canadian Destroyer on him. How'd you feel about the what? Him? You did a, a Canadian Destroyer, the front flip pile driver, I think. Didn't you do one of those? You did a 450 off the top rope as well. Who did a 450 on? You. You did a 450 with the twist and a bunch of flips. No. I think you could have done it. Joey probably would, would sell out the garden with me. Really? Yeah. Why do you think that match hasn't been put together? You probably and Joey be all in the, garden. the garden. The Olive Garden. But it'd be the Olive, the Olive Garden. Garden. God damn it. Not, not MSG. The Olive Garden. <laughs> yeah. It's a meat sauce garden. Would you do like a breadstick on a pole match? How would... how would? Yeah, it'd be a breadstick on a pole, and I'll shove it up his ass. Damn. So... Yeah. You don't like Joey Janela, right? Yeah, he's okay. He's all right. Did you you saw him backstage at AEW? I would imagine. Yeah. How was he? Did was he excited to Joey see? Joey's a good, nice guy. But you want to shove a breadstick up his ass? Yeah. This is friend, good friend. It, I, I mean, I've never shoved a breadstick up any of my friends' asses, but you know, different different types of friendships, I guess. What what kind of specialty match would yeah, you? Kenny Omega was dying to have a match with me. Was he? What did he say to yeah. you? 
have a match with me. He, he said, you're the king of kings. Oh, man. What was your experience like in AEW? Did you enjoy it? I was there like Jericho said, come on down. And I came on down. So, I mean, uh, have you been there since? Have you, how, how has that been? Yeah. Uh, Tony Atlas was down with Tony Atlas, and we were always cool, man. Ah. Uh, interesting. Okay. Uh, so, okay, well, Tony Khan was always cool with me. Uh, you, I, yeah. I've saw, I've seen you say that Tony Khan was always a big fan of yours. Can you tell me how you found yeah. this out? Yes, indeed. Yeah. And his father loves me too. Really? Shad Khan? Yeah. We all think the same. And he owns the, he owns, he owns the Jacksonville Jaguars. Yeah. Cause we think, we all think the same. That fuck money. Everybody loves the fuck money. All right. We all think fuck money, baby. Green and black? Green and black? Yeah. That's my jam. That's, that's a personal black. favorite. That's a personal uh -huh. favorite of mine. I, I'm very interested to learn. It's been since last year. Will you wrestle again? If the price is right. Okay. Okay, we saw you on Talking Shop of Mania. Um, you were part of the uh -huh. Cock to Torturer World Order, which is a, a very uh -huh. elite group. How did they recruit you into the Cock Torturer wo World Order? I'm going to get a slam on the big show. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess when you do that, they're going to want you to join, right? Yeah. So obviously people can check out the Meat Madness or yeah, the Meat Sauce Madness uh, mobile game. It's going to be available. The greatest game of all time. The greatest, the game, greatest game of all time. The greatest game of all time. Virgil, do you yep. have anything you want to tell the people before we wrap up? Go. I'm working my ass off. Go buy the game. It's a very good game. Go buy the game. The game is waiting for you to come and get it. So go get it. Everyone wants to play it. Everyone wants it. Even girls and boys that can't see, they want the game. So go get your son or daughter the game. So as we wrap up, i got one more question. You did mention the garden, and you mentioned Olive Garden, but you have competed yeah. many times at Madison Square Garden including mm -hmm. a Royal Rumble that nobody ever saw before in 1994. Why didn't you win that? I was too busy fucking and hanging out with the fine, fine women. You know what? I'll, I'll take it. Meat Sauce Madness, the game. Virgil, I want to thank you so much for joining me. You're welcome. Thank you. Love you. Until next time, guys. Hey, man. You're the best in the game. Until next time, guys. We're out.